A man may be as straight as an arrow, but even then he will have some critics. A man should be like a child with his wife, but if she needs him, he should act like a man. Account yourself before you are brought to account and measure your actions before they are measured. Acquire knowledge and teach people. Learn along with it dignity and tranquility and humility for those who teach you and humility for those whom you teach. Do not be tyrannical scholars and thus base your knowledge upon your ignorance. Acquire knowledge before you become leaders and pride prevents you from learning and you live in ignorance. As long as you are pure of heart, you speak the truth. Avoidance of sin is lighter than the pain of remorse. Be dignified, honest, and truthful. Be patient. Patience is a pillar of faith. Death is teacher enough. True faith is wealth enough, and worship is action enough. Do not allow wealth to circulate only among the rich. Do not be an arrogant scholar, for scholarship cannot subsist with arrogance. Do not be deceived by a man's eloquence. Rather, whoever fulfills trusts and refrains from impugning people's honor is a real man. Do not be misled by hearing of anyone's reputation. Truth is not something outside to be discovered. It is something inside to be realized. Do not close your door to the people or allow the strong to oppress the weak. Do not depend upon the morality of a person until you have seen him behave while in anger. Do not grieve over what has passed unless it makes you work harder for what is about to come. Do not overeat. That invites disease. Do not put off today's work until tomorrow, lest work accumulate and you achieve nothing. Do not show any favor to the rich over the poor. Do not trust the character of one who cannot control his temper. Doing good for a good done to you is simply repayment, whereas doing good for an evil done to you is a tremendous virtue. Don't let your love become an obsession, nor your hate become destruction. Don't forget your own self while preaching to others. Don't forget your own self while reminding others. Earning of livelihood by following some profession is better than living on charity. Every ruler should keep his door open to the people. Fear aloud, for he alone lives. All other things are liable to perish. It is difficult to be patient, but to waste the rewards of patience is worse. 
The best way to defeat someone is to beat him at politeness. Whosoever shows you your faults is your friend. Thus that pay you lip service in praise are your executioners. I have never regretted my silence. As for my speech, I've regretted it many times. Remind yourselves of God, for it is a cure. Do not remind yourselves of the people, for it is a disease. The most beloved of people to me is he that points out my flaws to me. Learn the Arabic language. It will sharpen your wisdom. Sit with those who love God, for that enlightens the mind. Go easy on yourself, for the outcome of all affairs is determined by God's decree. If something is meant to go elsewhere, it will never come your way. But if it is yours by destiny, from you it cannot flee. Sit with those who have sinned and repented, for they have the softest of hearts. Learn dignity and tranquility. No amount of guilt can change the past and no amount of worrying can change the future. Sometimes the people with the worst past create the best future. Get used to rough life, for luxury does not last forever. My heart is at ease knowing that what was meant for me will never miss me and that what misses me was never meant for me. Patience is the healthiest ingredient of our life. To be alone you avoid bad company, but to have a true friend is better than being alone. When one's intention is sincere, God will suffice his needs, protect him, and guide him in his dealings with the people. Let not your love become attachment, nor your hate become destruction. To speak less is wisdom, to eat less is healthy, and to mingle less with the people is safe and serene.